changes. Enjoy the show. Please do not fast forward. Deep in the woods was a tiny cottage, and that cottage lived with a pretty girl and her mother. Because the little girl was so sweet, everyone loved her. Because she had such long red hair, everyone called her Little Red. Little Red's grandma loved her best of all. She made her a little red velvet cape with a hood. Little Red wore it every day. Soon people called her Little Red Riding Hood, even her mother. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood. Time to get up, time to get dressed. Grandma's ill and needs our help. What? Grandma is ill? What can I do to help her? Go to her cottage on the other side of the woods. Take this basket of milk and butter and juice. And Little Red, wear your Little Red Riding Hood. It's cool outside. Of course, Mother. I always wear it. I love it. And Little Red, do not stop and, and talk to strangers. And do not stray off the path. Do you hear me? Yes, Mother. Little Red Riding Hood started down the path. It was a beautiful day, but someone else had started down the same path as Little Red Riding Hood, Mr. Wolf, big bad Mr. Wolf. Good morning, little girl. What a pretty Red Riding Hood and what pretty red hair. How are you doing today? Little Red forgot what her mother had said. She stopped and spoke to the stranger. Good morning to you too, Mr. Uh, Wolf. You can call me Mr. Wolf. Where are you going this cool morning? I'm going to Grandmother's house. She lives on the other side of the woods. She is ill. What a shame. Yes, I know. So I'm bringing her this basket of fresh muffins, butter, and juice. How nice of you. But won't you have some fresh flowers too? I see lots of pretty ones over there on the other side. Why, yes, she would love flowers. I'll go pick this up. Little Red Riding Hood forgot something else. She forgot that her mother said to stay on the main path, and that means trouble. While Little Red picked flowers, Mr. Wolf ran to Grandma's cottage. He knocked on her door. Who's there? Mr. Wolf answered in a high, squeaky voice. Grandma, it's me. Little Red, I have a basket of mushroom, muffins, butter, and juice for you. Oh, dear Little Red, do come in. You'll be my best medicine. Just then, Mr. Wolf burst in. He tied Grandma up. Then he started to rob her cottage. But right in the middle of stealing her silver, there was another knock at the door. Mr. Wolf peeked out of the window. He saw Little Red Riding Hood. He ran to Grandma's dresser. He put on a gown and bonnet. Then he jumped in bed. Hello, hello, Grandma, it's me, Little Red. I am here to help you, may I come in? Mr. Wolf oh. spoke in a high, squeaky voice. Oh yes, dear, do come in. My Grandma, what big eyes you have. Better to see you, my dear. My. Grandma, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with my dear. My grandma, what big hands you have. The better to grab you with my dear. And with that, Mr. Wolf jumped out of bed. He grabbed Little Red. He tied her up with Grandma. Then he went back to stealing the silver. Oh, Grandma, I am so sorry. I did not know what... I did not do what I was said. I talked to a stranger. I left the path in the woods. I only wanted to pick flowers for you. I did not mean to hurt you. Don't worry, my dear. While Mr. Wolf was busy trying to fool you, I put him. I sent Brutus to Mr. Hunter's house. He'll be here soon to help us. Mr. Hunter was Grandma's neighbor. He knew Grandma's dog Brutus, and he was always ready to help his friends in the woods. Mr. Hunter ran with the dog back to the cottage. He called out to Grandma. Grandma, Brutus came to get me. What is the problem here? The wolf, the wolf, the big bad wolf. 
Mr. Hunter broke down the door and went within with Brutus. Get in, Brutus. Get that yeah. roll. So we have you, Mr. Wolf. Grandma, Little Red, this is a very bad wolf. He was robbing three other cottages this week. Now we have you, you <coughs> big bad wolf. So Grandma and Little Red were saved. And ever since then, Little Red always listens to her mother.